world welcome to my channel i am sahil and this is the third video of the series and in this video i am going to show you about how constructor and destructor function works in php but before going to code let's first see what actually a constructor and destructor do in object oriented programming so to make the object oriented programming easier php provides some magic methods that are executed automatically when certain actions occur within an object so now let's see what is constructor in object oriented programming a constructor is a special class method which is called automatically when you instantiate an object a constructor is used to initialize object properties when the object is being created you can define a constructor by defining the construct method in php similarly what is destructor in object oriented programming a destructor is executed automatically when the object is destroyed a destructor function cleans up any resources allocated to an object once the object is destroyed you can define a destructor by defining the destruct method in php now let's start coding to understand in better way so open your code editor and now first i am going to create a new class so for creating a new class you just have to use class keyword okay sorry class keyword and then the name of the class so here i am writing person as class name and now first i am going to show you how to define constructor method okay so here just write constructor method now for creating constructor method you just have to write function and then space and then double underscore symbol and then write construct okay and then parenthesis and then function block in previous version you have to define constructor like this you just have to write function and then the name of the class okay by this way you have to define constructor in old version of the php but in new version you just have to use this way okay now here you can simply display the any message like the class person initiated initiated okay save this go to the browser and refresh here you can see nothing because we have not created any object of this class so let's first create an object of this class so obj equal to sorry equal to new person okay save this go to the browser and refresh so here you can see the message of the constructor method is showing the class person initiated okay here you can see i have not called any method using this object i have just created this object only okay because this constructor method is a special method of php so it is called automatically when the object is created okay similarly we can also define the destructor destructor method okay so for creating destructor method use same function keyword and then double underscore symbol and then write destruct then parenthesis and then function block and here you can display any message like the class person destroyed okay destroyed save this go to the browser refresh here you can see the message of the destructor method is also showing okay so just give a br tag for line break okay now here you can see both the message of constructor and destructor method you can also use a magic constant here to get the class name dynamically so for this let's use a magic constant class okay now this class is a magic constant which contains the name of the class in the in which it is occur okay 
so just use this also here okay save this go to the browser refresh so here you can see the name of the class is showing dynamically here if you change the class name here and here like animal and save and go to the browser and refresh here you can see the class name is changed automatically because of this magic constant okay now let's create another function function add and pass to formal argument dollar a and dollar b okay sorry a and b now i am just going to use return return a plus sorry a plus b okay sum of a plus b okay now if we save and go to the browser then here then here you can see nothing about this function because this is not a special function and we have to call this function manually by using this object okay so let's call this function so here just write echo and uh, then sum equal to then concatenate and then use the object variable and then call the add function now here we have to pass two arguments so 10 20 just save and go to the browser so here you can see sum equal to 30 okay just concatenate and give a br tag for line break now here you can see sum equal to 30 if we just uh, duplicate it and change the value here like 50 so 50 plus 20 equal to 70 so here you can see sum equal to 20 so you, ca you can call it multiple times okay but uh, you can see we we did not called these methods this construct method and destruct method by using this object okay <laughs> now this destructor method actually cleans up all the resources allocated during execution when the script is finished okay you can also use unset function explicitly to destroy an object okay so like this unset and then pass the object variable here okay by this way you can also destroy the object explicitly okay so just delete this now now this constructor method is very important method in any object oriented programming okay because this constructor method is used generally used to initialize the value of the member variables so let's take an example to understand in better way so i'm just going to create two member variable first so here member variables okay now here i will use private access specifier private and then alp sorry first name and uh, private l name okay so this is two member variable now in constructor method i will pass two argument f name and l name okay now for initialization of these two member variable using constructor we have to use this keyword and then f name by writing this we are accessing this member variable only okay and here just write dollar f name so we are just initializing the value of this f name into this member variable okay so similarly we will also do for l name so just write l name okay now let's create an another method function 
so name or anything you want okay now here i will use echo and here i will display my name each and then concatenate and this f name concatenate and give space concatenate and use this and l name okay just concatenate and use br tag for line break sorry line break now if we go to the browser and refresh then here you can see an error uncaught argument count error okay why this error is showing because here you can see in constructor method i have passed two argument okay and uh, we have not passed any actual argument in object creation okay so we have to pass two actual argument here okay in object creation okay so just change animal to person okay person and uh, now just pass harry as first name and potter as last name okay save this go to the browser and refresh so here you can see the error has gone okay now we have to call this so name function to display the name okay first name and last name so by using this object we can call the so name function and just to refresh so here you can see my name is harry potter so actually we are assigning the value through this constructor method into these member variables and here you can see i have accessing these these member variable by using this keyword and f name and this keyword l name okay so if we change sorry her mine and uh, gra and gr cranger and refresh then here you can see it is displaying here okay now we can also provide a default value to these variables and if we provide a default value to both of the variable here then we can also escape here and remove these variable uh, sorry value from here uh, if we uh, just assigned a default value like null and equal to null okay just save this go to the browser and replace so here you can see there is not any error is showing because i have set the default value null and null if we just uh, remove the null and here also the argument is not passed so if we go to the browser and replace then again we are getting the same error okay but if we just assign a default value null and uh, null then it will it will implicitly pass the default value here okay and suppose here i will write harry sorry harry in f name and uh, in l name we pass potter as l name so these are still the default values okay so if we refresh here then we are getting the name harry potter here okay but uh, what if here also we pass the value like her my first name and granger okay now if we refresh then here you can see the hermione granger is showing instead of 
this default value so it will work only if there is no value is assigned here okay sorry no actual argument is passed here okay and if the default value is here and if the actual argument is passed here then it is it will replace the default value of the constructor method okay so by this way you can initialize any member variable using constructor method so this is all about constructor and destructor method in php in next video i will show about the static member variables and static methods so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel